The Believer's Walk of Faith is paid for by Bill Winston Ministries partners and viewers. This summer, embark on a transformative journey with the Believer's Walk of Faith as we dive into the foundational teachings of faith. Join Dr. Bill Winston in our powerful summer series, Back to the Basics, where we'll unlock the timeless wisdom and revelation for walking by faith from his extensive library. We're going back to old school. Yes, Say amen. amen. We're going back to the oldies but goodies. These are things that'll work for you. I don't care what season you're in. I don't care whether you got a PhD or no D. I don't care whether you're in Africa or in Asia. This will work for you anytime, any place. Get ready for the basic fundamentals for every believer to live a victorious life as a kingdom citizen. Don't miss out. Tune in every week to gain understanding, revelation, and reignite your commitment of faith. Watch every week on Believer's Walk of Faith and spread the word. When you don't have faith, problems are complicated. And faith is designed to simplify life. So all you do is speak the results. And the servants take care of all the details. Have you ever heard the expression, the devil's in the details? Well, when those, when you operate without faith, you are in the details. All right. Okay. Are you with me? Yes. Now, what's the devil's uh, plan? Okay. His, yeah, his, his plan is to affect your thoughts and imagination. That's what he wants. That's what he wants, folks. He wants you to say what he's trying to get you to see. He's trying to get you to see yourself running out. When God's trying to get you to see yourself running over. And when you've seen yourself running out and you're in time, you won't give your last and you won't give your best. See, some people, ah, oh, you don't affect me. Well, what you giving? You've tithing? Well, not yet. He is affecting you. He is affecting you. There were two thoughts that when they came back from find, uh, spying out Canaan, one thought was the fact that we can't take it. The other thought was, let's go up at once. Which one of those you think was from God? Which one do you think was from the devil? He's going to bring doubt, shame, unbelief, and show you a picture of you failing. He's going to show, he'll try to show you a picture of you being 80 years old and never got married. Now he is trying to put pressure on you to marry anybody. Let me come out movie. I'd be y'all. Are you following what I'm saying? See, he comes with pressure to make you feel there's no way out. Here's what he says over in first Corinthians and chapter uh, 10 and verse 13. He says, amen. He says, let me, let me preach this right there. Now. He said that, that's right. He's a liar. Not only he's a liar, he was a liar from the beginning. Watch this. And he's the father of those who lie. Boy, that, thank you. I appreciate that. that helped me out with He's the father of liars. When you lie, just think, oh, Satan is my daddy. Oh, I better, I better get, I better tell the truth here. Are you following what I'm saying? But here's the pressure. There is no temptation taking you. That is such, such as common to God, but God is faithful. Who will not let you be tempted, watch this, tested or tried beyond that which you are able. 
but with every temptation, he'll make a way to escape. Why does he make a way? Because Satan is putting pressure on you. He's putting pressure on you. And things that you wouldn't normally do, he's going to pressure you into doing. Or try to pressure you. But that's why you got to stand in faith. You got to say the same thing the three Hebrews said over the 17, 317. The God that we serve, he will deliver me. See, women, the God that I serve, he'll bring me Boaz. See, you, see, see, you got to work Satan. Don't, don't say he'll bring me anything. Don't just say he'll bring me a man because he could bring you a man. He, 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 uh, and, and, and I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm not making fun. You hear what I'm saying? Could make a man broke, a man, hey, come on, come on. No, we, I want Boaz. I want with wanting a man with some money. Man, there ain't nothing wrong with that. What's wrong with that? I'm going to come out from over here, boy, y'all. You, you, y'all, come on now. You mind if we keep it real? No, don't get so desperate until you lose track of what God has for you. Ruth just trying to show you a picture. And I'll take that picture right out of that Bible and that's what I'd live by. Man, you take that picture of Abraham having kids. I mean, once he got 100 years old and had Isaac, boy, he went to work then, didn't he? Didn't he? Sarah some credit too because girlfriend was spitting that thing out, man. Is this the right bunch I'm talking to? I'm talking about living the life of miracles. Praise God. Miracles are not something that happened to you every now and then. I want a miracle every day. I want to see something. Now the Bible talks about Satan because Satan will try to get people to hate somebody if they don't agree with you, hate them. Hate them. This is the enemy's MO. And that's what's happening right now. You got one party if, if, and, uh, against another party. And if they don't agree with what I think, I'm going to hate them. I'm going to hate them. If they are uh, eating, harass them right there in the restaurant. I'm going to hate them. Now, I'm not talking about me, but that's what happens when people are living down there in that level of time and their senses are controlling them. That devil can come in and tell you to hate somebody when the Bible talks about that God wants you to hate evil, not people. You don't need to hate on anybody. You, you got an interesting thing about certain people. As soon as people get started moving ahead, they start hating on them. Jesus working miracles and they hate him because of miracles. Did they hate Joseph? Did his brothers hate him? Hate him, wanted to kill him because they hated him. And Jesus said they hated him without a cause. What did I do wrong? Now that's Satan getting people to hate people. So that's part of what his plan is. His plan is to get you to hate because if he can get you to hate, Something else is going to follow out of that. Now, Satan has a destiny. Anybody know what it is? It's not Lake Michigan. It's a lake of fire. And he gets and shows you who's going there with him. And he shows you that over in uh, Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8. 
And he says, people that are liars, come on, adulterers, come on. He, he goes on down to eight things that if you got this, you're going with Satan. Y'all got quiet over here when I said that. I'm gonna go on and read that. See, it's, it's all right. See, when you live in eternal life, you don't have to hate nobody. Because whatever they can steal, try to steal from you, you're not all going to get it back. You're going to get what they got. See, <clears throat> come on. They can't stop you from being promoted because your promotion don't come from the boss man. God has some good plans for you. Watch this. He plans for him to bless you that you will be able to be a distributor. Say, I'm a distributor. In the earth of, of what God has provided in heaven. That's me. I'm a distributor. So you are supposed to be the one that gets what he's provided. Did he provide healing? Did he provide deliverance? Then I'm supposed to be a distributor of what he's provided. He was a man, he was blind, in Mark chapter 8 and verse 24 and Jesus uh, spit on his eyes or touched him or whatever and he said, what do you see? The man said, I see men as trees walking. So I'm a walking distribution house. And he said this, they that believe shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Am I right about it? So look what he did when he sent them out as distrib- distributors. Look at Matthew chapter 10, verses seven. And what happened 10 verse seven? He sent them out. Sent who out? His, his, his apostles or uh, disciples. Now, what, what did they do? He said this. He told them what to do. What did he tell them to do? Heal the sick. Cleanse the leper. Keep going. Raise the dead. Now, I'm a walking distribution house because in heaven, it's already done. So I'm going to take what is in heaven and get a hold of it with my faith and bring it back in and deposit it in their life. That's how powerful you are. And this is God's plan for you. Say amen to that. So God's got different thoughts and he's got different destinies for his people. He said in Jeremiah chapter 29, 11, I know the thoughts I have for you. Their thoughts are good and not of evil to give you what? And expect it. And, and here's the deal about it. It can't be changed. All right, then let's go next. Revelation 21 and five. He makes all things new. He makes all things new. He makes all things new. So even when the miracle comes, uh-huh. he makes all things new. new man. New body parts. Watch this, watch this. First, you got new. Here's what happened over in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man, woman, be in who? Christ. They are a new creature. All things are what? Behold, all things are made You are new. You are somebody that didn't do that three years ago. 
Your body and mind might remember it, but your spirit didn't participate. And your spirit is the real you. Now, if you can get that in your consciousness, you can walk free of guilt and shame. So you get your spirit new. Next, you get your mind new. So be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the... So my mind is going to be new. So what I couldn't do before, I can do now. Man, I... I was in school and I'm just saying that some people say, and boy, I just couldn't, couldn't pass those courses. Uh Well, that's a different story now. You got some more sense. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You got sense that you didn't have before. Amen. All right. How about your body? Now the Bible says in Psalm 139 that there's a book that all your members are already written. There's another scripture that says God has counted every hair where? On your head. So he knows how many hairs you're supposed to have. All right. Can I, can I keep going? He's going to give you new ideas. He's going to give you new contacts. He's going to give you new friends. He's going to give you new. Everything is new. New car. Come on, new house. Come on, new possibilities. Come on, new destiny. Everything is new. Say everything is new. Now he's going to take this and he's going to wipe out all trace of the old. I don't know why I'm over here. There's something new about to come to this section. Sit down. All right, let me come back over here. Now, let me finish this up. Because what you want is you don't want the devil to run off with your inheritance. And God said, I'm making all things new. New kidney. You better hear me now. Put, put that picture up of the man that got the new elbow. And they had taken him to the doctor and the doctor had put this elbow, this mechanical piece in his elbow But then God came along. And he makes all things new. Now, this is a piece that he had in his elbow. And it was in there through surgery. But God makes all things new. So he goes to bed at night and wakes up in the morning and he's got a new elbow. No trace of stitches. Say no trace. So here is a woman in Mark chapter five and verse 31 a 35 who touched the 34 who touched the hem of Jesus's garment. And he said, daughter, thy faith has what 
made you what? Whole. That means you got to healing. Watch this. And the, the weakness in your genes that caused this thing to happen got fixed. That means, come on now, that the money you spent on physicians got repaid. That means that all the loss of time you spent with your children got returned. That means your husband and time together, get ready. Get ready. Cause y'all gonna double up on some time here and get this time back. Y'all know what I mean by double up. Let me come over here. You may not know what I mean by double up. God, I am announcing that God is eradicating all the trace of the curse in your life, in your mind, in your spirit, in your body, in your money, in your relationship, everything in your business, in your job, I announce in Jesus' name that there'll be no trace of what the devil has done. Now give God a praise for that. Matter of fact, all of the aging that you have incurred because you worried yourself, God is reversing that. Say no trace of the curse in my life from this day forward in the name of Jesus. Because God makes all things new. And this is my book. This is the bill of rights of my life. And in this book, it says something about my life. That I'm the seed of Abraham. And when God reverse the curse in Abraham and reverse the curse in Sarah. He's reversing anything in me that this book says I don't suppose I have. This is my bill of rights. And from now on, I demand my rights in the name of Jesus. The supernatural is the standard of the church. The tendency is to think that these miracles are some kind of exception. No, the supernatural is natural in the kingdom. It is not an exception, it's the rule, and it's a part of your Christianity. Come on, you gotta have some crazy faith. You take your faith and tell time what to do. You know it won't be here for two weeks, but this is what you say tomorrow about this same time. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Now God starts working, angels start working, Holy Ghost starts working, anointing starts working. Miracles are not something that happen to you every now and then. I want a miracle every day. 
In today's dynamic message, Unfolding the Mystery of Miracles, you will discover how to operate in the realm of supernatural miracles. To get the full series in its entirety on MP3 or CD, on MP4 or DVD, order by calling 1-800-711-9327 or go online at billwinston.org. Learn how to use your faith to expect miracles daily. I've got a question for you. Do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Now, somebody asked me that one time. I said, I don't know, you know. Well, here's the deal. He came and gave his life for all humanity. Why? So that all our sins be forgiven and that we can be in a family of God from now on. That's what happened to me. And when I prayed the prayer of faith, I knew something had taken place. My whole life had changed. I want to get you to pray that same prayer. It only takes a moment. Just say this, Dear Lord, come into my heart. I believe in you that you died for my sins and you are alive right now. Now, Lord, thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that prayer, you said it from your heart, a miracle just took place. You are now with the family of God. I want to send you a book. It's called Born Again in Spirit Phil. It's a book that tells you what the next steps are, free of charge. Welcome to the family of God and keep walking by faith. Revival is here. Join us for the 2024 International Faith Conference hosted by Dr. Bill Winston, Sunday, September 8th through Friday, September 13th, 2024. Inspired by Isaiah 61.4 NLT. This year's theme is Faith for Revival. Six generals of faith will release electrifying messages to supercharge your faith and transform your life. Each night, a sensational musical artist will lead us in worship, lifting our spirits as we press into a deeper connection with God. An unforgettable experience that you don't want to miss. Register now at ifc.billwinston.org to join us in person at Living Word Christian Center in Forest Park, Illinois, or online. A week of miracles, breakthroughs, and a revival like never before awaits you. We can't wait to see you there. Sometimes, as we grow in our Christian walk, we forget about the basics that got us there. Yet, the basics of our faith are the very foundation we need to be successful in our relationship with the Lord and with others, and to fulfill God's plan and purpose for our kingdom destiny. In this Back to the Basics series, a powerful compilation of 16 series of dynamic teachings by Dr. Bill Winston, you will learn how to renew and re-energize your Christian walk. Get your copy of this must-have series on USB. To order, go online at billwinston.org or call us at 1-800-711-9327. The mission of Bill Winston Ministries is to preach the gospel of the kingdom throughout the world. This broadcast has been made available to you through the faithful support of Bill Winston Ministry partners and friends. We invite you to become a partner and join Dr. Bill Winston as he trains believers how to live independent of this world system and have dominion over it. Thank you, Bill Winston Ministry partners and viewers for your continuous support of the Believer's Walk of Faith broadcast. Now remember, you need faith to get to your destiny. So don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. This is Bill Winston. I love you and keep walking by faith.